There are many sales opportunities when it comes to texting, including enabling landlines to receive inbound texts. But if you aren't texting correctly, your dealership could face stiff penalties. So I get questions all the time. Scott, how do you do it right? You talk about all these compliance issues, TCPA, Telephone Consumer Protection Act. It seems everybody has a different interpretation of the rules. Um, there's a really easy story that everybody could probably relate to. If you've gone to an airport any time over the past three years, and you've gone to that kiosk, for those of us who still fly coach and uh, deal with kiosks when we check in, they ask you a few questions. One, identify yourself. Two, do you want to pay $20 for, uh, to get in line first? No, absolutely not. The very last question they ask you is, Scott, if your flight is canceled or delayed, or if there's a gate change, how would you like us to communicate with you? Phone, email, or text? Like many of you, I check the text box. You check that text box, you opt yourself in, what's the very next thing that happens? All of a sudden your phone vibrates. So you take your phone out of your pocket and there it is, a handset verification. A lot of people refer to this as a second opt-in. So now basically I'm responding back to American Airlines with either Y or yes, and that is their record acknowledging that I'm opted in. And that's what they're gonna keep on file. So when you're texting from your dealership, you gotta ask yourself, are you doing it like the airlines? Do you have a system in place that acts and behaves like that kiosk at the airlines? Because multi-billion dollar airlines aren't gonna mess around with TCPA. I don't suggest any dealer do either. So let's talk about text to landline. Text to landline is relatively new to the uh, relatively new to the industry. What text to landline is, those legacy phone numbers that the dealerships had for 10, 20, 30, 50, 70 years, consumers can now text those phone numbers. So I would challenge dealers, you don't need to go out and get new phone numbers or incremental phone numbers to have consumers text you. You can use the landline numbers that you have today. Those numbers that you've been marketing for 50, 60, 70 years, all you have to do is change your messaging in lieu of call us today, call or text us today. It's an easy change to make on your website. On the next billboard that goes up on the highway, squeeze in the or text on your marketing, radio, TV, uh, on your emails, call or text us today. And again, that ensures that these texts that are coming in make it through this gateway, everything's recorded, everything's pushed to the CRM, and you're not having rogue individual conversations uh, from sales reps that may turn over over the next six to 12 months and are gonna take those relationships and those conversations with them.